Now let's work on question three. Let's work on question three. Okay, so we are told that given below is a simple floor plan of a one bedroom flat. Study the plan and answer the questions that follows. Okay, so we can see that um, the plan has a kitchen, which is which also includes a living room, and it also has a one bedroom, which I believe also has a bathroom inside, as we can see on the plan. And then we are given um, two keys, so we are given a key for a window. So a window is represented by something like this, and a door is represented by by something like this. So this represents a window and this represents a, a door. Okay, so now let's go ahead and answer our set of our set of questions. So we'll start with question 3.1. So question 3.1 says that how many windows does this flat have? So if we check in our kitchen or our living room, we can see that there are there are three windows. So there are three windows in the living room and then in the bedroom, we can see that there is a window. And then in the bathroom again, we can see that there is a window, meaning that our total windows will be five. So it will be five windows. five windows okay so now let's move to the second question which is question 3.2 question 3.2 so question 3.2 says that from which general direction from which general direction would would you be entering the flat if you come in in at the front door in the living room so to make this easy for everyone to understand so we can see that um, so if you look at the at the map you can see that we are given the general direction so there's an arrow pointing up which means that this will be our north this will be our south this will be our west and this would be our east so if we place this map this general direction in the house we can see that um, the living room if you are entering the the apartment through the living room you would be entering from from this side meaning that our answer will be will be west I hope that makes sense our answer will be west because you will enter like this you will enter coming from from west you will enter like this okay so now let's move to our next question which is question 3.3 3.3 um so question 3.3 says that the living room or kitchen is going to be tiled the scale used for this plan is 1 is to 50 explain the meaning of the scale 1 is to 50 so 1 is to 50 basically means that 1 centimeter on paper is equals to 50 centimeters in real life so if we say um, if for example we see that the living room is 10 centimeters it means that in real life is 10 multiplied by by this 50 okay I hope that makes sense okay so the question said that explain the meaning of the scale 1 is to 50. So that's what I just said. It means that um, the scale, so we can see this scale. Mean that 1 centimeter is equal 
250 centimeter in reality or real life in reality or or real life okay so now let's move to our next question which is question 3.3.2 3.3.2 so this will be our 3.3.1 so question 3.3.2 says that if the width of the plane measures 4.8 centimeter and the length measures 9.3 centimeter calculate the real area of the room so by the by the word real they mean in reality and we are told to give our answers in in meters squared okay so we are told to give our answers in meters squared so so first let's convert our our width and our length into meters so if you are converting from centimeter to meters you divide by 100 so our width so we can basically see our uh, our real width our real width so if we are saying our real width it means that we need to multiply the width by by 50 first so it will be 4.8 centimeter multiplied by by 50 so this will be our real width in in real life that's why we are multiplying by 50 because of the scale that we are given so it means that we'll come and say 4.8 multiplied by 50 and then we'll get 240 240 centimeter and remember guys remember that um it said that give your answer in square meters so we need to convert our centimeter into into meters and to do that we divide by we divide by 100 so converting from centimeter to meter we divide by 100 so if we divide 240 by 100 we will get 2.4 2.4 meters so our real width will be 2.4 meters okay so now let's work on our real length real length so we still do the same thing so it will be so our length was given as 9.3 centimeters. So it will be 9.3 centimeter multiplied by 50. So if we multiply 9.3, multiply by 50, we will get 465 centimeter. And if we divide by 100, we will then convert it to, to meters. And our real width real length will now be 4.65 and now we need to calculate the area we need to calculate the area so the formula of the area is given so it's length multiplied by by breadth so breadth and width is one and the same thing so they can be used interchangeably so our area will be 2.4 multiplied by 4.65 so it's a 2.4 multiplied by 2.65 and our area will then be so it will be 2.4 multiplied by so our area will be um, 2.4 multiplied by 4.65 and if we plug that into our calculator we can see that our area is equals to 11.16 meter squared and that's our final answer for question three